So um, attachment, it's essential for human survival, right? We need each other. You know, as humans, this is our, like, we're like the species where when our babes are born, they are 100% completely dependent upon us. Without <clears throat> us, they will not live, right? I don't know if they're really these stories of them being raised by wolves and such, right? They need, they need, they need parents. They need caregivers. They need people to take care of them. They're completely dependent. They can't feed themselves. They must have a caregiver. So attachment is essential for our survival. Like without it, we don't uh, survive. The thing about the parent-child attachment is it's totally normal, you know? And we're gonna get a little bit more later into when we can see things that maybe are abnormal uh, emerging, but the actual relationship, desire to have a relationship is very normal and needed. And one of the important things to remember is it's actually, it doesn't matter. It actually doesn't matter how good you are as a parent. I mean, it does. It's great if you can be a good parent. But in regards to attachment, the draw is there for even if you're not a good parent. Children want a relationship with their parents. If they don't, there is a problem. It's as simple as that. You know, no matter how messed up the parents can get and how messed up the divorce can get, if they start to not want a relationship with a parent, it is against what's natural. There's nothing natural in that, right? So you know you've got a problem then. It's just a matter of then we have to look at what is the problem, right? Because it isn't just one cookie cutter problem. There's a variety of them we can look at. But the thing to remember is always normal and natural. And there's always a draw to it. And sometimes the kids that are rejecting a parent the greatest are actually some of the ones that want the relationship the most. And that's hard to uh, believe and feel and experience when you're on the end of it. But often those kids, they're hurt, they're angry, but it's important to them. And their rejection of the parent is actually saying something. My, you know, you're still important to me, even though I'm behaving in every way to push you away, right? So, like I said, for the parent to protect and the child to be drawn to the protector, 100% natural. Keeps us thriving, keeps us alive. So, when we mess with this, we know we're taking our kids' chances down. So, um, not only does it allow the child to thrive, but it protects the child from the bows and arrows in life. And what I mean by that, this is what, there's some really interesting research, right? and uh, by Van der Kock, who's very well known for his trauma work. And, but in his trauma research that he did, what he found is that those children who had, you know, um, let's just call them healthy, they don't have to be perfect attachments, secure, will come secure attachments mm -hmm. to their parents. If a trauma happened in their lives, they could survive it so much better. They could, they could re their resiliency was so much higher. Right? So even if something really, really bad happens to you, mm -hmm. if you've got that base that can hold you, your ability to come back from it. So not only is it giving you this great template that helps you develop and understand relationships and nuances and boundaries and all sorts of things, it's like the magic shield in life, right? If you have that attachment, right? So it can help you withstand when the rest of the world is being kind of awful to you. Mm -hmm.